Uh, would like to welcome you once again uh, to the ARC headquarters and uh, it's my pleasure to give you an overview uh, about the agricultural research corporation a brief history uh, vision and mission goals and objectives organization setup our research infrastructure uh, research programs collaboration and partnership and about sci salient uh, achievements and uh, we'll talk about technology transfer and future uh, strategies. Uh, agricultural research in the Sudan started in, two, in 1902, uh, actually it's very old, more than 100 years old, and in 1967 uh, Agricultural Research Division uh, became ARC or Agricultural Research Corporation affiliated to the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry and in 2001 ARC became part of the newly uh, formed Ministry of Science and Technology which was established by joining together all research institutions that existed in other uh, government ministries and uh, the vision of ARC is to become a center of excellence in agricultural research by developing skilled manpower and conducting quality research to generate technologies that would ensure sustainable crop production. And the mission is to plan, develop, and implement research design to produce technologies and systems that are required to ensure high uh, uh, production or sustainable crop production. ARC is entrusted with applied agricultural research on food and industrial crops forestry, livestock, and food technology with ecological and regional responsibilities to develop sustainable uh, production system uh, in the Sudan. And uh, ARC uh, works in cooperation with other national uh, and international institutions to achieve the following main goals. Uh, achieving food security, alleviating poverty, uh, generating of incomes and promotion of agricultural export, and conservation of natural resources. Uh, the objectives is to generate, develop, and adapt agricultural technologies that focus on, ne on the needs of the overall agricultural development and its beneficiaries, to manage and conserve uh, the soil and water resources in the country for sustainable and productive agriculture, and to build up a research capacity and establish systems that will make agricultural research efficient, effective, and based on development needs and to uh, popularize agricultural research results. This is the organizational setup of ARC, uh, headed by Director General and assisted by uh, two Deputy uh, Directors and also uh, four uh, Directors for Finance, Personnel, Human Resource Development and Administration, and we have about 10 uh, Director for Research Centers, 12 National Coordinators, and 23 uh, Research Station, Director of Research Station, and uh, one Director of Technology Transfer. Uh, the research uh, infrastructure consists of 10 research centers, 3 central research units, and 23 research stations. And uh, this is the geographical coverage of ARC, covering all climatic zones ranging from the Red Sea uh, climate, very humid uh, climate, humid climate, semi-humid, dry, uh, semi-dry, dry, desert and uh, semi-desert and, and desert uh, climatic zone. These are the centers, research centers, and about 23 research stations uh, distributed uh, in all the uh, climatic zone of the country. Uh, these are the uh, research centers, uh, cereal research centers, soil and water research centers, crop production, crop protection, oil crops, horticulture, and all uh, based in here in Medani. And we have forestry research center, food technology, water harvesting, and socioeconomic research center based in Khartoum. And in the western uh, Sudan, we have dry areas research center based in Al Ubayr. Uh, three central research units: biotechnology, genetic resource unit and tissue culture unit and all uh, located as you have seen 
in Wood Medini. Uh, we have the central library, these are research supporting units, and agricultural information documentation unit, and statistical analysis unit. Uh, these are the names of uh, research stations, about uh, 10 or 9 research stations in Central Sudan, in Northern Sudan about 5, Western Sudan 4, Eastern Sudan 3, and Southern Sudan 2. Uh, our research programs address uh, several such areas, including genetic resource and plant breeding, crop production management, pest and disease management, and post harvest management. And uh, programs are developed through participation of all uh, stakeholders, including farmers, uh, scientists, and uh, production management. And they are either discipline oriented programs or uh, commodity oriented programs. These are uh, discipline oriented programs including land and water, crop protection, food technology, forestry, uh, agriculture engineering, biotechnology, water harvesting, and socioeconomics. And these uh, commodity oriented programs, cereals, oil crops, agriculture crops, cotton, and Arabic gum. Uh, the staff of ARC, research staff, uh, about 446 uh, professors, uh, 28 associate professors. 73 and so on and we have non research staff uh, technicians uh, most of them are PSC holders and uh, ARC uh, actually have uh, good links and uh, cooperation with uh, various institutions that have an interest in agricultural research and development uh, at the national level at the regional and at the international level and at the national level uh, we have uh, good uh, collaboration with relevant institutions within the Ministry of Science and Technology with different departments of the Ministry of uh, Agriculture and Forestry and with the State Ministries of Agriculture and Animal Resource with faculties and colleges of agriculture with industry, uh, practice sector, with farmers organization and NGOs and at the regional level uh, we have uh, we are part actually of the Asarita and, and uh, Aranina, Association of Agricultural Research Institution in the Near East and North Africa, and with the Forum of Agricultural Research in Africa, and also the Regional Universities Forum for Capacity Building in Agriculture. And at the international level, uh, we have uh, also uh, uh, partnership and uh, collaboration with these organizations FAO, UNDB, UNEB, IFRI. Uh, International Atomic Energy Association and EFAD and the Arab Organization for Agricultural Development. ARC also maintains uh, good links with the uh, consultative group of International Agricultural Research Centers. Uh, most important, uh, our uh, links with ICARDA and ICRISAT in India, ICRAF in, in uh, Nairobi, Ibigiri in Rome, WARDA in the, uh, West Africa and also organization for international uh, cooperation like Danida uh, in Denmark, uh, GTZ uh, in Germany, Sirad in France, ETA, NORAD, JICA in Japan and SIDA in Sweden and also uh, USA. We actually uh, uh, in the past we uh, have a collaboration and partnership with USA through the Western Sudan Agricultural Research uh, Development Project, as uh, Dr. Sadiq said, and also Blue Nile Development Project. And we hope that upon uh, re-establishing uh, its uh, function in the Sudan, we have, uh, we look uh, forward for more uh, collaboration and cooperation with uh, USA. Uh, the, we have uh, three national or four national uh, uh, technical committees uh, entrusted with the approval and release of uh, uh, new technologies and uh, for the end users, the farmers. We have the National uh, Variety Release Committee uh, for issuing uh, new, new seeds uh, for the farmer. We have the National uh, Crop Husbandry Committee for uh, approving the uh, cultural practices and the Pest and Disease Committee uh, for approving the uh, pest control methods and the National and uh, Food Technology Committee for approving the uh, post-harvest technologies. And these are the most important achievements during the uh, last years. Uh, improve crop varieties and improve agronomic practices. We have also uh, many technologies in soil and water management. 
uh, test management uh, farm mechanization and uh, we are also uh, uh, take part in the uh, technology transfer in cooperation with uh, production schemes and following uh, uh, some example of these achievements for example uh, in cotton uh, we released a number of varieties uh, which cover the whole range of stable lengths and early maturing they have more than 20% increase in yield and uh, all are resistant to bacterial blight. Uh, some are tolerant to insect pests and adaptable to low uh, input conditions. Uh, in case of uh, sorghum, uh, actually sorghum is the, the, the main stable of uh, food uh, in the Sudan. And we released also a number of varieties, about seven varieties. Uh, drought tolerant sorghum varieties uh, uh, for production in, in uh, drought uh, brown areas in the western Sudan and also uh, in the papla and the pipeline we have uh, uh, so uh, striga resistant sorghum uh, actually striga is uh, very serious wheat uh, in uh, for sorghum uh, in Africa and by using uh, Marker assisted selection, uh, I think we will be able to uh, release the, uh, a new uh, Spiga resistant variety. Uh, improved wheat varieties, also about 10, this is in collaboration with ICARDA and CIMIT. And Global 2000, uh, we develop heat tolerant varieties adaptable to uh, hot conditions in the Sudan. And also uh, by using these techniques, uh, double tabloid uh, and wheat. We were able to breed two varieties uh, of wheat, and this actually we shortened the uh, breeding time from uh, 12 years or 14 years to only four years. And uh, this actually uh, is Sudanese, uh, first Sudanese genetically modified uh, crop. Uh, this is one of our MSc students working in uh, Kenya, Nairobi, from Kenyatta University, and uh, she did this uh, work and uh, using genetic transformation uh, this student able uh, was able to develop uh, this trans uh, transgenic uh, maize line toler uh, uh, tolerant to uh, drought stress and uh, in case of millet also two varieties ashan and yawandi high yielding with wide adaptation and also may add up to uh, 250 dollar uh, uh, extra benefit to the farmer, better done. And uh, also, uh, in case of sesame, kinana, hydr, early maturing drought tolerant varieties with wide adaptation, late shattering, and adaptable to mechanical harvesting and uh, with good quality seeds. Uh, groundnut also, uh, two varieties or three varieties for irrigated sector and two for rain fed sector. And uh, this is uh, banana, this is very uh, uh, banana mutant alberi developed by radiation uh, uh, technique with support from International Atomic Energy Association and uh, produ uh, produce up to 100% uh, uh, higher yield than the conventional variety. Uh, in, in, uh, integrated best management, uh, as you can see here from uh, this table, the number of uh, sprays per year increased up to nine on average, up to nine space per, per season, and maybe uh, sometimes uh, 14 number of space. And with the adoption of uh, this technique, integrated best management, we were able to reduce the number of space to uh, even two to three space per season. Uh, farm mechanization, our engineers also were able to uh, design and modify implements uh, to be adapted to our uh, soil condition here in the Sudan. And uh, also, we are able to determine the water requirements of our major food and cash crops in different ecological zones of the country, in the desert uh, zone, semi-desert, and also in the dry zone. Uh, this is our food technology uh, research center. Uh, also, uh, released a number of post-harvest technologies uh, we also uh, we are also involved in uh, technology transfer uh, in collaboration with uh, production schemes 
we are doing participatory plant breeding and verification use trail, participatory IBM on farm trails, demonstration plus piloting, farm field schools, field days, traveling workshops, group discussion, all these activities we are involved in. And these are the examples of field days. GFP, I think, and uh, it's in the uh, northern part of the country. Uh, example of primary schools, training workshop here in our, and these are ARC publications. We publish the Sudan Journal of Agricultural Research, and annual reports, each center or, or programs produce annually uh, a report about its activities and uh, also uh, extension proteins, our scientists also. Uh, produce extension proteins and also we publish proceedings of uh, these technical committees and also our scientists also uh, write up books about different uh, subjects. Uh, our future strategies uh, may rest on uh, priority setting for research activities at the national and regional level and uh, improve physical research infrastructure through rehabilitation of the station, strengthening of research extension farmer linkage, and establishment of sustainable funding initiative and involvement of private sector in agricultural research. Actually, uh, the involvement of private sector research here in Sudan is very uh, poor. And uh, this year, uh, top and these achievements, top innovation and achievements in agricultural research honored by our president, Omar al-Bashir. This year, our scientists received uh, awards from uh, uh, President Omar al-Bashir. And uh, also, ARC uh, won the Islamic Development Bank of uh, Prize of Science and Technology. Uh, 2008 in its sixth edition, and uh, this uh, prize, uh, its annual prize, uh, uh, awarded annually for two institutions in the same world, and we won this prize beside the uh, uh, New uh, Institute of Nuclear Medicine in Punjab University and the Institute of uh, and the uh, Institution of. Uh, uh, biotechnology in, in Malaysia and actually this prize uh, consists of 100,000 US dollar and a trophy and also a certificate uh, mentioning the uh, achievements and thank you very much for your attention.